Well, hello there, my fellow rushers. How are you doing today? King Rex here, and today is my special video where I will be celebrating reaching 100 subscribers. I know I'm a bit late, yeah, but I just didn't have the time to post the video any 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 time earlier. So yeah, but today we have a pretty interesting challenge that will be split into four parts, and the, the challenge is: Can we beat? every level in the main campaign of all Kingdom Rush games with a total of 100 towers. Well, let's jump in and find out, shall we? But before we begin, we have to explain the rules of the challenge real quick, so here we go. Rule number one. We are beating the campaign part of the level only. We're not including the heroic and iron challenge. Rule number two, we're playing on the highest difficulty, which is already set in. Rule number three, we're not using OP heroes now. In the other games, that means we're not using dragons. But here, however, there's no dragon, so which ones do I consider OP? Well, there are Ignis, aka Chunk, Allura with Winter Song. Sorry, Allura, I can't use you today. And Oni. And yeah, the other heroes are allowed. But however, these three, they're a big no no. And now for the next rule. Rule number four if I sell a tower, then the counter will go down. Basically, I'll be adding a counter in the top left corner, which will be showing you how many towers I've used for now. But however, let's say I have like five towers used and I used one tower. However, if I sell it, it will go down to four. Or if it gets destroyed, because you know, later on we're gonna have bosses that destroy our towers. And as far as the other rule is, rule num number 5, that one is a little bit questionable. Basically it's about the environmental buildings. Let's, let me show you. If we have something like this, where it has the hammer icon, you know where you have to repair it, I will not be counting it as a tower as long as I don't use it. However a bonus tower like I don't know I mean in this game there's not all that many so I don't know a good exam for it but let's say in the Kingdom Hearts Frontiers the first level where you have two two archers these towers I mean I can't sell them I can't do anything with them so I don't know if I should be counting them I'll let you guys decide on that one should I count environmental buildings if they are you know already placed and you know, they don't have the hammer icon like the, the Sylvan Elves. I know it's a bit weird, but I just, I don't know what to do, man. I'm a little confused. So yeah, without out of the way, let's just get into it and see what happens. Well, well, what do we have here? Level 1. Look at that. It's easy. We just beat it with no towers. Same for level 2. Man, that's so easy. Well, yeah, I mean, it's, it, there's not gonna be all that much interesting stuff going on in the early game, I mean, it's pretty easy to beat the first few levels with no towers, I just need to use a good hero, which I'm not using here, I mean, I'm using freaking Bolun right here, but he's surprisingly doing a pretty decent job, so, yeah, we're just gonna leave it in, and yeah, guys, I just wanted to make this video in order to, to show you my appreciation for your subscription. I can't believe that there's like hundreds of people that are like me that enjoy these, this game and are willing to stay and look, take, a, take a look at my videos. Like the fact that you're deciding to spend your time on my videos is ridiculous to me. I, I didn't believe that so many people will be watching me but alright then, <laughs> thank you very much guys. And we'll keep pulling it strong. As far as the challenges are considered though, holy crap, I have like at least 10 challenges writ written down, like holy moly. We're going to, it's gonna be a while until I complete all of them, and by the time I complete them, there will be more to come, so yeah. At least we have content for a, for a long time. Now, for this one, I sadly will not be doing, doing it at one sitting, unfortunately, because this video will be way too long. So, I'll be posting the part 2, or in this case, the second level. Oh, uh, sorry, not the second level, I'm stupid. Uh, the second game in, uh, in the video in and, of, in and of itself. And yeah, as you can see here on the top left, you'll be seeing the, this counter. And that counter will be showing you how many towers I've used so far. So if you missed the part 1, which, you know, part 2 should be coming out, I suppose, 
Saturday again. Maybe I'll post a little bit earlier depending on what you guys want, but we'll see how it goes. And yeah, so far so good. I mean, Malik has been pretty decent heroes. I mean, I, I, I rarely use him, to be honest. He's not my personal favorite pick, but he's been doing a really good job. Like, his abilities do true damage, so he just shreds through these mar marauder. No, they're not marauders. Brigands. Damn it, I keep messing up the names, man. I just can't remember the names for some reason. Well, I mean, sure, I hear I sold my tower, which I, I don't know if I mentioned it, but if I sell a tower and they buy it again, I mean, you know. Anyway, here, again, one tower. I'm not counting the Elven, the Sylvan Elves, because I haven't bought them and I haven't used them, so they're just not a tower in this case. At least, you know. If we use it, it, it counts. If we don't use it, it doesn't count. That's basically it. And for now, we're using one ranger, and it's doing a pretty good job. I mean, look at that. This is just one ranger tower, man. It's impressive. And just to make it a little bit more of a meme, I decided, you know what, let's just put up Alaria, who is probably the worst hero in the game, but surprisingly, we take down this level NOL. Wow. However, this one was a little bit more on the tough side, you know? I mean, sure, you can beat this level with no towers. Cosinus and the war champion already did that, but, you know... I'm not that good at the game, so I'm just gonna give myself two towers. And I've decided to pick the Holy Order because, you know, I love Paladins, they're amazing. And the tier 3 Artillery, which is a little bit of an odd choice. You'll probably be thinking, why not pick, like, Rangers or something? Well, I don't know, I just decided to pick Artillery. Why not? I mean, Gargoyles are not an issue. We have Magnus Spellbane right here, who is personally not my favorite hero, but... Ever since this challenge was done, I really started liking this guy. Like something in it, uh, there's something about it that I just could, couldn't appreciate back in the day. But now I really appreciate him. Like, he's amazing. He can just shred through armor really quickly. He can teleport everywhere. He does okay damage. Like, it's not outstanding or anything, but it's pretty decent. And anyway, now here's the first boss. Here we have the Juggernaut. The Juggernaut is coming for us to ruin our challenge. Will he? Well, we'll see. I mean, look at that. So far, it's not the best. I mean, yeah, the, go the Golem Heads are have made a little bit of a further progress, but whatever. It is what it is. As long as we do it NOL, which we probably will do. I mean, it, it looks pretty good. Sure, his health is going down not quite as fast as I would like it to be, but, you know, that's what happens when you use Magnus. Like, Alora would have destroyed this guy already, but, you know. Anyway, and just as they were overwhelming us there, we destroyed this guy. Oh yeah. And now for this one. This one is always easy. Like I never had an issue with this level. Like look at that. This is just one paladin and Malak and we've been just destroying this level. Wow. I need to start using Malak more often. He's pretty good. Like the only thing I don't like about him is his mobility. Like his mobility is really slow. And to me, I really I don't enjoy heroes that have restricted mobility. I prefer heroes that move faster like the Laura or Magnus or Oni. I think Oni has a pretty fast movement speed, I don't know. And here we end up messing up the Rain of Fire once again. Like, come on. I never can get the timing right. So yeah, the choke point got broken there, but whatever. It doesn't matter because we're just gonna take everybody down. Look at that. Mm, yeah, no life's lost. Well, that level was easy now, wasn't it? Well, let's move on. Now, this one was a little bit on the tougher side. It w I was having a tough time picking two towers because I could have done it with three, you know, if I was going for the NOL, but I was like, you know what, I just want to try it out and swing it and see what happens. So I picked Big Birda, and Big Birda is doing a pretty decent job. I, I, I would say it's kind of an underrated tier 4 tower. I mean, it's, pr it's pretty decent, like, the Dragon Launcher is pretty good. It has infinite range, it never misses. The cluster bombs can really help out, especially against the spiders that we have to deal with. Which are, there's a lot of them as you can see here. We have a lot of little spiders, we have matriarchs. We also have the yetis, which are a little bit of a tough ones. I've tried to use the musketeers, but I just died to the, to the matriarchs. Because I, I, I wasn't able to take them down quick enough. And yeah, it's not going terrib terrible, you know, we're surviving so far. I'm using Hexal, who is... Kind of a questionable choice, and the reason why Music XO is, funnily enough, is because I just, for this level, I, I wasn't really sure which hero should I use, so I closed my eyes, I just started rolling the mouse around the heroes, and I just clicked someone, and it was XO. 
and he wasn't quite the best option. Sure, the Troll Chieftains and the Rietis are goners thanks to his instant skill, but he doesn't do all that well against groups, and unfortunately here, ooh, we lost two lives. Alright then, well, we have to get serious. Come on, Hexal, get over there and insta-kill that Yeti. Come on, insta-kill him. Hexal, come on, you have one drop to insta-kill tough enemies, there you go. Alright then, but, hmm, come on, oh no, oh no, the Matrix are coming, the Matrix are coming, guys, no, 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 oh, damn it, come on, why do you have to do me like that, I tried my best, but unfortunately, we lost to the, to that yet, we were close to doing three stars, but, eh, whatever, now, for this one, this one actually took a couple of tries, you know, it wasn't one and go, you know, I, I haven't beaten it on the first try, but it was pretty easy in a way. I mean, the boss is kind of tough, but for the most part, the level is really easy. Like, I originally I tried using, uh, I think it was Rangers and Big Bertha, but it didn't went well. I, I mean, I beat, I was able to beat the level, but I wasn't able to beat it with 3 stars, so that's why I switched the towers up. I, I mean, Sorcerer, the Musketeer is actually a really good tower, don't get me wrong. He has an insta-kill, insane range, never misses, and the shrapnel shot just demolishes. Like, li like, literally demolishes. And now here he is. Here he is, JT. And JT is surprisingly difficult when you have barely no towers. Never mind when you have none. Which, <laughs> this is gonna be pretty interesting to see if someone attempts to beat this level with no towers. That will be pretty outstanding to say the least. Because this boss is usually pretty easy when you have a lot of towers surrounding him and, you know, stunning him constantly because, you know, when he freezes the tower, he takes a break and, you know, he doesn't move for a few seconds, giving you an additional time to do damage to him. But, I mean, he's not too bad right now. I mean, sure, he got a little bit far, but in the end, we take him down. And that's what matters. Now this one. This one actually also wasn't uh, the first... I haven't beat it on the first try. It took me, I think, four attempts. I tried different heroes. I think the last time before this one I tried King Dinus, you know, the king. And he, he did a pretty decent job. And yeah, but unfortunately I survived with like 13 hearts, so it wasn't good enough. I, I really knew that this, this level was beatable with no towers because I watched War Champion and he did it a while ago. But I was like, you know what, mm, that's a little bit too tough for me, so I'm just gonna add one Tesla and that's it. And surprisingly, one Tesla is all you need to be at this level. Like, holy crap. The Tesla is really OP. Tesla was, Tes Tesla was probably really smart because these things pack a punch. Like, look at that. Just decimates the skeletons. Sure, it doesn't take them down, like, really quickly, like, once they come in, but it takes them down eventually, and that's what matters. Now, the last wave could get a little messy, though. I'll, I'll admit that. The last wave is a little bit of a tricky one. And the reason why it was tricky with Dinus is because he moves really slowly and he does physical damage. And we need magic. And Magnus is the perfect option because he does magical damage, he shreds armor, and, you know, he's pretty good. He can teleport everywhere, so we don't have to worry about where he is. You can just teleport him instantly anywhere on the map. I really started loving this guy, man. I love Magnus from now on. I'll definitely incorporate him more in my gameplay. He is unbelievable. Oh boy. Alright, then maybe not. We're... Everyone is getting pretty close to the exit, but nah, we're gonna take him down with the Rain of Fire. That's why you hold on the Rain of Fire, man. You have to be careful when you use it. Timing it is really, really important. And NOL, I'm proud. And now for this one. The penultimate level. <laughs> That was my first try. It was really easy. Just use the broken combination, man. I mean, I, I actually, <laughs> that's kind of funny though, because I haven't really discovered this combination until like recently. It was when I was watching Cosmos streams, and in one of them he said that this combo is actually really broken. Bro broken? Yeah, that's a word. Broken. And you can beat pretty much the entire game with this combo alone. And I decided to give it a try, and holy crap, this combo is really ridiculous. Like, I never had any, like, I thought Teslas, like, you know, spamming Teslas is usually the best option, but this, this one is just ridiculous. I don't know, I feel a little bit of a noob, I feel like a little bit, a little noob cake for not knowing this, but, well, at least now I know it. Better be late, I mean, but whatever, it is what it is. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit sick, and I'm just suddenly stopping, I just suddenly stopped talking, you know why. I'm just a little sick, sorry for that. And yeah, I mean, this level is not that difficult, first try. What else, what else is new? 
Here they switch up the sides, but who cares? So yeah, guys. Also, I I don't know if I mentioned it before, but I'm on Discord. So if you wanna if you wanna chat with me or you wanna ask me something pers something on private, you can check me out. I'll leave I'll leave a link down in the description so you can go check me out there if you want to. It will be really appreciated to, to talk to my viewers more. I mean, I, I'm, all, I'm also into the Real Morgan server and also in a small community that one of my viewers made and it's pretty nice to hang out there. It's And sure, I'm not all that active in there, but yeah. Also, what's happening here? Holy crap, this boss. Yeah, this level was pretty tough to say the least. I mean, here I tried two Teslas and would you look at that? It can't even kill the demon, so instant restart, rage quit, that was awful. Speaking of awful, another awful attempt. Yeah, I've been trying this level for quite a long time. And unfortunately I wasn't able to beat it with two towers. I knew it was possible because this demon got really really close to dying. But unfortunately I wasn't able to pull it off. Like, I was trying my best, I've been trying this for 4 hours. But, I just couldn't quite pull it off. Maybe the world champion can do it, maybe Cosinus can do it, but not me. I value my sanity after all. <laughs> Alright then, and here that was my second to last attempt I think, that, that's where I used King Danis, and you know, he's doing a pretty good job. Su surprisingly he is a pretty decent hero, I mean, yeah, but he just doesn't cut it, so I switched back to Magnus and would you look at that, the same thing happens again, we just get overwhelmed, like look at that, look at all these skeletons. I mean, even if we don't get overwhelmed by them, Vezin is already really close to the exit, so he's gonna rush through anyway. So yeah, it took quite a while, so at the end I was like, you know what, I'm calling it. I can't do it, let's just add another tower. And would you look at that, we have Tesla, Musketeer Garrison, and Holy Order. And would you look, look at the differences. Night and day, it's ridiculous. It's insane how much, one ta how much of a difference one tower can do. And I know here I didn't... Dis I allowed all of my towers to get disabled there, I apologize for that, I was... I got distracted for some reason. Anyway, now, what do we have here? Wave 14? It's honestly not that difficult. Wave 15, however, is another story, but you'll see in a minute. And yeah, honestly this challenge kind of helped me out to get better at the game and, you know, learn more about certain towers or heroes that I don't use all that much, like Magnus. Sure, I know a lot of people praise Magnus and say he is OP. And, you know, he is a pretty decent hero, I suppose. But, you know, I still prefer Alora. Come on, Alora is just ridiculous. And also, I've been falling in love with the Musketeer Garrison. Like, this tower is... Mmm, delicious. Insane range. Insta-kills left and right. And it does mega group damage. Like, it just deletes the Skeleton Knights. Like, in one, in the blink of an eye. They're gone. Like, they just disappear. It's ridiculous. And the thing is that it can do between 150 and 600 damage, but for the most part it has been doing pretty much the... It's been falling on the high end on the damage, which is... I don't know why, but okay. I don't know if it's the coding or I'm getting really lucky with it, I don't know. But, <clears throat> anyhow, let's get in... Let's go on with it, man. Here he is, Vezlan, once again, for approximately 8th time. But this time I have 3 towers, man. Will you beat me with 3 towers, boy? Get over here! We're gonna kick your ass! Magnus is gonna send you back to the shadows of hell! Where you're gonna burn for an eternity! Until you return to Kingdom of Vengeance! But hey, that's... Spoiler alert! Anyway, here he is in his demon form. He's rushing for the exit, he's halfway through the map. He's starting to get close to the towers. And would you look at that! With enough towers, man, this boss is beatable with... Ease! Like, look at that! Finally, he gets destroyed! Woohoo! So... Well... The first part of the challenge has been completed. We destroyed the first bot. <coughs> the first game. And yeah, it was surprisingly easy. Sure, besides a couple of levels, it was kinda difficult, but for the most part it's been really, really easy. Now, for the next time I'll be doing Frontiers, and yeah. I don't know when I'll post it though, it's probably going to be around Saturday. But if you want, to, if you want me to, I'll post it a little bit earlier. But I don't guarantee. So, yeah, guys. I mean, also, I have another question before I go. Should I do reviews on the heroes from the original Kingdom Rush and Kingdom Rush Frontiers? Let me know. And yeah, other than that, that's going to do it for the video. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Appreciate you for sticking around to the end. Subscribe if you want to see more of this content in the future. And while you're at it, drop a like on the video. It means a lot to me. 
and I'll see you in the next one. Until it comes, that was King Rexy, over and out. I appreciate your support, guys, dearly.